Health officials are urging Florida residents not to become fatigued. News for Jack's reporter Jennifer Reddy explains why local doctors say what we do now could benefit us in the long run. As COVID-19 cases surge in some parts of the country, health officials are urging Floridians not to let their guard down. You got to hold it together until we get this vaccine rolling. Dr. Chad Nielsen is the director of infection prevention at UF Health Jacksonville. We know that the South lags behind. This is what we saw on the front end. We didn't peak in hospitalized cases until roughly the middle of, of July, whereas New York was in was in the raging, you know, aspects of it in April. So we have the foretelling to show us that this could get bad for us. And the only thing that's really saving us now is the fact that the weather's not cold and it's not snowing like it is in Pennsylvania. Dr. Nielsen says people need to keep following the safety precautions in place to slow the spread of COVID-19, especially as the holidays approach. That means wearing a mask, social distancing, washing hands frequently, and avoiding gatherings. The CDC says the safest way to celebrate Thanksgiving this year is to stay home and celebrate with the people you live with or gather virtually. I know that this is really hard for people to hear, particularly as 2020 has just been a, a, a year like no other, um, that people want to get back to some kind of normalcy, but we really are urging people, please don't meet in large groups. Please don't do a traditional Thanksgiving dinner with, with potential um, you know, severely ill folks at the table. Uh, we don't want to spread this. Jennifer Reddy, Channel 4, The Local Station.